Welcome to Python for introductory statistics. In this video, we will learn how to identify uh, errors on your code. So for example, let's just go ahead and use, um, let's say uh, somebody's height in feet is, let's say uh, five. And now we're trying to change this to inch. So it's five uh, times 12, right? And then of course, if there was, you know, five, nine, five, six, five, one, then you would add that inch if there was um, inch given as I. Now, when I run this, you'll see that there's gonna be an error and I'll explain uh, where the error would come and how uh, Colab presents the error. Okay, first you see this red and there's a red here. Um, there's also a name error and you always wanted to look there. It says name I is not defined. So, the letter i because i'm adding plus i it so the way uh, this programming language does it, it starts from the first line so it will assign this number five and put it in f and when it comes to the second line it always starts on the left on the right side so it's going to do okay uh, this is five times twelve but then when you're adding i there is no i what is i it doesn't know i so that's what it means that i is not defined now here's a link, it's uh, this uh, search for Stack Overflow, I'll click on it today. Uh, what it does is it takes you, anyway, it's asking you, do you want to open it? It takes you into this uh, very popular uh, website where people ask questions and other people answer them. It's very helpful and a very useful website and I recommend you use it. But for now, what we'll do is we needed to define I, so in this case, if the person was just five feet tall, then I is zero. And then in this one, instead of making it five, we change this to F. So now it will grab the values of F and I from the first two lines and it's plug them in here and find H and, um, and this will fix uh, the error, right? Another type of error is when you don't start in the first column of each line, right? If there's an indentation by error like this, and if you run this, it will say, unexpected indent, right? And there's this red line that gives you uh, where the error might be. Now let's add this and add another one. So remember if statement, so we say, if X is equal to zero, it's gonna check. Then we're gonna say, we needed this, uh, an indent here. Uh, so we're gonna say print, um, it's zero, all right? The double equal, by the way, it checks the condition if it's zero or not. Uh, obviously, we have to define x right here. So let's say x is 0, right? And then it will check it. And now if we run this code, there will be an error. And look, it says it is an invalid syntax. And here, right after uh, 0, it's pointing that something is missing. Actually, the thing that's missing is that if conditions always end in colon. So the colon is missing. So when you run this now, it say that uh, it is zero. It will check that it's zero and it is zero. So learn to identify. It's one of the uh, skills that you need to learn as you uh, learn this. Any programming language is uh, learning to identify where the error is quickly uh, is is very helpful skill that uh, one will need in the long run.